video will be interesting to many who ever wondered what challenges people with speaking disorders go through when they go out in public and try to communicate with others. And it might also be interesting to those who have a speech disorder. We might have experienced some of the same things. My speech is one of the first people know this about my disability. And once I got a comment saying, my cousin has cerebral palsy and he talked perfectly normal why it not pizza so fat then. Well, no two cases of cerebral palsy are alike. There's many people with cerebral palsy who can talk perfectly normal those Pizza isn't infected in any way, and then there are people like me whose pizza is infected, and then there are the people with solar palsy that don't have the ability to speak on their own, so they use some kind of device to communicate with others. When I'm speaking to people, I do not hear what they are hearing. When I'm speaking in my own ears, I don't hear nothing wrong with my speech. I get to hear what people hear when I'm editing my videos. One of my childhood memories well, when me, my sister Connie, and my brother Anthony made a home movie. After we were done making it, we shared it with the rest of the family. When we were watching that movie we made, I got confused. I was really hearing my own speech for the fourth time but because I always hear myself as normal I really believe it when the TV messing my speech up. As a child I did speak therapy along with physical therapy, occupational therapy and heart back riding. For many, many years, I had some sort of therapy every weekday, basically. Beginning when I was 11 months old, because the soon I can begin a channel with a brain and join into therapy, the band or only invention really really important and the thing we worked on most is peak therapy when my S's and my THs. When I was much younger I couldn't say my S's. I still struggle a bit with it. They made it so I'm able to get that S sound out even though in order to get that sound out it sounds like I'm saying to sub words like snake snap. The T answers are the hardest for me to say and they probably know that because at the end of my video I say take you I can't do the T it sounds so it that sound like a T. So as a child, I thought the only thing wrong with my speech is I can say the S's or THs. I began to know that my real speech when other kids 
began pointing it out to me and there were one and the scenes other kids bullied me for and because of all the bullying I went for years well I want to talk in her videos because I hated my own voice because of what other people have said. I want to raise my hand and call I'm going to get an anxiety attack if a teacher was going to make me present a project in front of the whole class. The bullying over my voice led me to have social issues too. I didn't really want to talk much to people because I was afraid of the reaction to the way I talk. So it's kind of ironic that I make all the YouTube videos now and I also do public speaking. When I was in the 8th grade, they decided to talk my peak therapy completely, saying I would never get any better. But that wasn't true. Many of you have actually pointed out how much my speech has improved since my fourth YouTube video of me talking. Here that is. Hi YouTube. My name is Therese. I have non-tensional palsy. I can put some videos of me and some reading how I do things differently so I hope a lot of people want my videos. Bye. So I did get better over time. That way, I tell people to always keep up that someone might say they won't be able to do this or they won't get any better, but that isn't always the truth. When I began my YouTube videos, I had a hard time adding the subtitles because I didn't understand everything I said. When I was younger, my siblings were kind of my translator. If someone didn't understand what I was saying, they may repeat what I said. When I struggle with upsetting my speech, I hated repeating myself. But now that I'm older, I love when people ask me to repeat something if they don't hear it correctly the first time. Because that shows that they really do want to hear what I had to say instead of pretending they got what I said on the walk away and then the conversation people had done that to me before. And when I tried to communicate with others out in public, it can be really interesting at times. There were times I ate at a restaurant and I ordered for myself and they bring me <laughs> something I didn't order because they saw I said that. Recently I went to a Cadaba and they were putting together a burrito for me and the guy asked before chicken I said chicken but he saw I said beef and they were really fast but it got to Chinese scenes it didn't take that badly. So when I met a restaurant and I order 
if I have a menu, I point to what I want as I say it. The same can do not so what I said they cannot get what I'm pointing at. If I'm not cooked to the way no I don't have a menu, then sometimes someone at the table helps me say my order. And then at times I would be like shopping with my mom and I began talking to her and a lot of people turn and look at me but I don't take that too personal because the way the human mind walks it drawn into anything that different. People that hear the way I talk and assume because I talk slower, I'm under mentally slower. That's not true. There have been people that would talk to me slowly, like because I talk that way, my hearing is impaired too. I can hear everything perfectly fine in some conversation and I say one thing and all of a sudden they say something back that had nothing to do with what I got said. What? A moment of silence, then I repeat what I said and then I'm like, oh. Even though my family members are pretty to my speech because they've been around me so long there are still times where I had to repeat myself to them. I did have a story of how my speech made me the perfect fit to do something really cool and big. And when I perform or I'm in front of a camera, I feel my best. So I always had the dream to be able to become an actress. Well, a few years ago, I told someone about this and they told me well, in reality, it's really hard. Getting into the entertainment industry, it you have a speech disorder. That they kind of hurt me, but it didn't cause me to give up the dream of mine. It was probably a year after I was torn to bed something let the dream go, they won't get anywhere it with it because of my disability. I got an email from a professor at King's College in London. He worked with Fino. He said he found my videos and that my voice was the perfect fit for a part in the performance he was putting on. So he sent me the lines. I did a voiceover for the performance. He really liked my voice because you had to listen carefully to get what I'm saying. That was a really amazing experience. I mean, part of a big performance on the way in London. And it really awesome to see so many people with disabilities get divorced now in the entertainment industry and maybe one day there will be a warm perfect for me. So it new ever come across a person with a speech disorder, please remember even though we might talk a little bit different, we can hear perfectly fine and we will understand everything you say. If you don't understand 
pretend that the photon plays out to cheating Peter instead of pretending you know what we said. Everyone want the voice to be heard correctly. Please don't be afraid of talking to those with speech disorders. And please don't finish your sentences for us. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.